Hello one and all, I am Dr. Srishti, I am a pediatric ophthalmologist uh, from Shekhar Eye Hospital, Bengaluru. Today I am going to talk about something called cat eye syndrome. It's termed as cat eyes when somebody has a beautiful upslanting uh, shape of the eyes. We even have uh, shades, frames and even eye makeup of that sort, right? They call it cat eyes even when somebody has light coloured eyes. But the cat eye syndrome I'm going to talk about today is a rare genetic condition uh, which has involvement of uh, different organs and organ systems of the body. It gets its name from the specific characteristic feature in the eye which makes the eye looks like a cat's eye. So this characteristic feature is called coloboma in medical terminology. So coloboma is nothing but a missing segment of the iris the colored part of the eye, uh, which has happened because of uh, defective closure of a space called choroidal fissure during the development of the eyeball when the baby is in the mother's womb. So this defective part of the iris makes the pupil, which is an aperture that allows the light to pass through and uh, reach the nerve of the eye, which is normally round, looks like a slit shaped as in cat's eye. The uh, coloboma is typically placed inferiorly and this makes the pupil looks like a keyhole shape. So in coloboma of iris, we call it a keyhole pupil. So this coloboma, if it is restricted to only iris, it is harmless. It will not have any vision problem associated with it. But sometimes this coloboma can be extending posteriorly to involve retina and choroid also. So in that case, patient may experience a vision problem. But sometimes, in spite of the uh, coloboma present in retina and choroid, uh, since it would not be involving the center of the nerve, it would not uh, affect the vision. But in such cases, there is a high risk of something called retinal detachment which in turn will cause vision problem. So patient having retinochoroidal coloboma may have good vision throughout their life but suddenly may experience sudden drop in vision someday uh, due to retinal detachment. In that case surgery would be necessary for retinal detachment. So in cat eye syndrome this coloboma of the iris is present as a characteristic feature in only a little more than half of the patients get, uh, who, has, who are affected by this genetic condition. Apart from coloboma of iris uh, the other ocular features that could be seen in cat eye syndrome are uh, coloboma of the eyelid clouding of the lens which is nothing but cataract or clouding of cornea or sometimes even squints. But all these features are quite less common. Apart from the eye features, uh, cat eye syndrome is also associated with many other features in the body like ear abnormalities, anal atresia, heart abnormalities, kidney and genital abnormalities, skeletal abnormalities and even intellectual disability. So the take home point would be that any individual who presents with a cat eye like features need not be associated with cat eye syndrome and have other uh, abnormalities in the body. Uh, looking at the occurrence of the isolated coloboma of iris, it is quite common in comparison with the association with the syndrome. And also, uh, the coloboma of iris per se will not cause any vision problem but if there is an extension to the retina and choroid there could be an associated vision problem hence since children would not complain particularly of vision problem if you notice any cat eye like feature in a child then definitely do get it evaluated by a uh, eye specialist to evaluate for vision and to look for risk factors like retinal detachment so that it can be treated or rehabilitated at the earliest. Thank you.